Uh, have you watched any of NXT 2.0 since you've left? Uh, I watch bits and pieces. Uh, I try to support like my friends like Duke Hudson. Sure. Uh, Indy Hartwell, Persia Parada, Grayson, like all the Australians. I always support those guys. And I still have other friends, obviously, that I made there that I always watch. Um, but I don't particularly enjoy it. <laughs> sure. I, I was going to ask you because it, it's interesting because many of the people that you mentioned – became featured players as a result of the change of NXT 2.0. Uh, but yes. I'm interested in your thoughts on, on the presentation overall as, as how it is. It, it does seem very character oriented to some yes. degrees. And then others, it's like you, you see the traditional turned up to 10 type of personalities. But, but what are some things maybe you do or don't like about it? I mean, I understand what they're trying to do um, and the direction they're going in. I think the thing I, I like least about it is Hunter had such a vision for what NXT was and that whole vision is just gone now, especially after last night with, with what seems to be, I, I don't know, I'm not there at the moment, but it seems to be the end of black and gold. Like that's, that's it. Um, it, it it's just disheartening because we were so, the guys that were there for that era were so much trying to make it that third brand and make it something different, but not just that I, when, when I was there wrestling, I'm a huge pro wrestling fan and I love WWE. I love what they do, but I saw Raw and SmackDown as the entertainment shows. And I saw sure. NXT as the pro wrestling show. And now I feel like it's just another entertainment show. That makes sense. And yeah, I mean, obviously, and very unfortunately, Triple H has been out of the picture for a little while. We, yeah, we wish him the best there. Have you had the opportunity to speak with him at all? I know that he was, he was very private for a while. Yeah. No, I, I haven't been able to yet. Uh, hopefully I'll get to, I hope, yeah, you know, that he's doing well. Um, I've been able to, obviously I spoke with Sean right after I got released and yeah, I hope that I can speak to Hunter at some point. What was your conversation with uh, Sean like? Because there are some people like Alex Zane told me that he reached out to William Regal immediately and William Regal was blindsided by it. He had no idea. Uh, yeah. What was your conversation with Sean like? Uh, well, I, I had a great relationship with Sean. I was I was in his, you know, there was classes at the Performance Center. I was in his class for quite a long time. Uh, and he was always in my corner. And then when that happened, he actually reached out to me and just, he was in shock. Um, and he just basically told them, told me to go out there and do what I do and make them regret the decision they made. So <laughs> I, I'm happy to do that, but I'm someone that's not focusing on the fact that I'm not in WWE anymore. Sure. I'm focusing on the fact that I am in New Japan. I am doing things with Impact, and I'm going to do great things there, and that's where my focus all is. 